out here on the bike, why I'm fat, lazy, and broke. This is my situation right now. Whoop, don't do this, I'm riding in one hand. Big, but, big, <laughs> big bag on the bars full of shoes. Bike here today, backpack on, fat, lazy, and broke. If you're fat, lazy, and broke, and you don't want to do that anymore, then it's just all about taking action, isn't it? Taking action in the right direction. Uh, I, I, just, I was sitting at home this morning, I was helping out this injured bird, got the bird sorted, put it in the rehab cage, and then I was just like, I mean, I should go make some money. I don't need to, but I just, I couldn't stop myself. So, uh, you know, I finished up with Natasha, and so I'm gonna go to, gonna go to the outlet and go grab some stuff to flip, because it's always fun making 500 bucks before dinner. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even need the money, but it's just my ego, or I don't know what it is, but I'm just thinking, you know, if no one else is going to do it, no one's, the shoes are just sitting on the shelf and there's people who would want to buy these cheap shoes but they can't because they've got kids and they don't live where I live and they've got just logistics ain't going to happen. So they will pay me or anyone out there to go buy the shoes and then uh, go post them to them at, cheap, at a cheap, cheap price. World, world, world cheapest prices doing right of shoes. World best deals. And so I've done that and, uh, you know, and the cashier bro is like, hey, you got all these shoes back, man. you got no car. I said, just find a way, you know? So I've got this big bag and uh, on my bars and I'll just slowly meander away back to Adelaide City and I go from there to start posting the shoes out. But anyway, that's just the deal. Like when we lose our excuses, we find our results, don't we? You know? When we lose our excuses, we find our results. Let's just pull up here in the shade. This is winter here in Adelaide, Australia. And uh, yeah, so lean, always lean because I don't make up any excuses. Oh, healthy food's expensive. No, it's not. Healthy food is far, far cheaper, man. It's, you see what I eat? Boom, you know, the best food on the planet. If you want performances in the bedroom and the boardroom, on the internet, on the bike, in real life, on the court, in court, then my nutrition protocols are unmatched. And we see the Olympics, don't we? We see the gold medalists following Drew Ryder's protocols on the Sleepwater Sugar. Ask Tom Pidcock, who inspired him to increase his sugar intake and the cadence and the power meters and all that stuff. And ask uh, Wout Van Aert, who inspired him to be smashing pasta, <laughs> big pasta, or, you know, low fat pasta dish in the uh, TV meeting there. Just, you know, like it's just it's crazy. Uh, and we see the, the time trial girls as well, just sugar, sugar, sugar. <sighs> you know? But yeah, people are out there, they're just like wanting some silver bullet and the silver bullet is what I recommend, what I offer. That's it. You know, there's there's no better way than that. There's no other way for the best performances. You know, like in life, it's just it's crazy. But I just see people out there. They're they're broke. They're fat. They're unhealthy. And they or they're living this life, and or living this life where they're not really happy, not enjoying what they're doing. So every day, man, I wake up and stoked to do what I do. I'm stoked to help that bird today. Stoked to get a gobby from Natasha. Stoked to ride my bike to the outlet, stoked to have a nice fresh air day, stoked to be in Adelaide, just stoked every fucking minute of the day, I'm literally stoked at what I'm doing, stoked bro, you know, talking to people at the cashier, riding my bike, this bag will probably fall off my handlebars and it'll make someone laugh, you know, like, whatever, you're just stoked, stoked to do the videos here, <laughs> stoked to wake up, stoked to go to sleep, stoked to get to eat all my favourite foods, feel good, get it done, repeat, all right? So that, that's the definition of success, is every single fucking second of the day, you're stoked to do what you're doing. And if you're not, then that's, that's our fault, it's my fault. If I'm not stoked every minute of the day, that's on me. That's fucking on me. Because I control my thoughts and emotions. No one else, no one else. Can People can do whatever, and they can get a reaction from me, but ultimately, end of the day, it's my choice to get my cortisol all whacked up. See, look at Thomas Pidcock in the Olympic mountain bike race. Gets the flat tire, Goes to the pit, he's having his drink, he's keeping his cortisol in check. Gets on the bike, boom, let's go again. Wasn't flipping out, screaming, having a hissy fit, wasn't crying on the side of the road, you know, like a little rich girl, bro. You know, he's just getting it done. So it's just about controlling our thoughts and emotions. So if we're not stoked every minute of the day, that's just a choice in the moment, you know? Fill your day every single minute with doing what you wanna do, all right? What you wanna do, okay? Every single minute of the day, I'm doing exactly what I want to do, all right? And that's why, that's the only way for me to live life. I can't live any other way than every single fucking minute doing exactly what I want to do. That life's too short. You could wake up tomorrow with some 
bulge on your fucking throat and it's a fucking tumor that they can't or your brain or whatever like they, they can't do it's not you, you're going to die next week or you just you wake up and you're dead because you had a stroke yeah you, you had a fucking hemorrhage you had a brain tumor didn't you know it was there and it compressed the fucking vein pop you, you don't even wake up boom that day of yesterday of faffery and fuckery that was the last day on the planet and you didn't even get to enjoy it because why why you know what i mean you gotta live every fucking minute like it could be your last. Facts, man, it's just facts. So so often we get caught up in fuckery and faffery about someone did this to me, blah, 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 blah. Someone said I'm ugly on the internet or whatever, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> can you know, like five seconds you can get pissed off. But but yeah, you know, but that's five seconds you waste, man. So the older I get, the more I realize, damn, I made it to 47 in a few weeks. I'm fucking lucky, man. Some people don't make it to two. Some people die in the first few weeks of life. Fuck, man, like, so yeah, just, just more and more that grandiose gratitude mentality. You know, life is so short. Why am I gonna spend it? Why am I gonna spend a minute in a bad mood, all right? Why? Why am I gonna spend another minute doing a job I'm not passionate about? Well, I gotta pay the bills for the kids. Fuck the kids, man. The best thing you could do for, if, if let's say you're, you say you're a barrister, right? And you're putting your kids through private school. You could quit your job, set up a tent in these bushes back here, bring your kids here, spend all day with your kids, and your kids will be better rounded, healthier members of society than if they went to that private school and did all that fuckery and factory that private school brings. That's fucking facts. I live in affluent areas. I see the rich kids and the drug issues and the eating disorders and the entitlement and the Blah, blah, blah. I see that, all right? So don't give me the excuse, well, I've got kids to provide for, you know, and that's not cheap. It ain't cheap, but that's your choice, man. There's plenty of people around the world who raise their kids on rice, sugar, water, and bananas, and they sleep in a little hut made out of sticks and fucking plastic bags, and the kids, man, are fucking awesome. And there's plenty of people out there who are making billions of dollars a year, and their kids are just fucking faffery and fuckery, you know? So I'm just saying. It's these excuses we tell ourselves. Do every single minute what you want to do. And if you're doing that, imagine what sort of kids you're going to have. There you go right there. Because if you're doing shit just for the kids, you're going to resent your kids. And then the kids will subconsciously feel like your resentment towards them. And then the kids will feel like, I'm a fucking loser. My dad doesn't love me. My mum doesn't love me. Blah, blah, blah. They're sacrificing for me. Oh, I feel, oh, this is... And then those kids start to feel all fucked up. So then the cycle repeats. You know, cycle repeats and someone gets baby rabies. I want a baby. And then the baby comes and it's a cycle on repeat, 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 repeat. And then we're just passing down our bullshit to our kids and then they pass it on. It's just, just you yeah. know, cycle just needs to stop. Anyway, that's the rant, that's the rave. Get on your bike, get some carbs in here. Burn fat, not oil, man. You know, look at this bike path. I could sit here all day and I'd probably see like three, three cycles come through. Meanwhile, we're burning all this electric, coal, nuclear shit or whatever out in the car just to go from A to B, ride a bike, you know? Cars are handy, but fuck, we're using way too much. Isaac Butterfield, burn that up that bad, bad bod bro, and just get on the bike and get you lean.